Welcome back to the highlights of match day four of the UEFA Champions League. Along with Peter Vermees, I'm Mike Hill. We're off now to Moscow, where Spartak Moscow took on Rosenborg from Norway. It was the Russian side who took the lead after just two minutes. Shimanov with the goal, straight from the corner, Peter. Well, Shimanov being the goal scorer that he is, he sniffs his ball out, he sees his players going up for the ball, gets flick-headed, he goes to the back post and just knocks the ball home for a goal. Seven minutes later, Moscow Spartak increased their lead. Zimbala is the player who plays the ball through. He picks out Sergei Yuran. Yuran, who has scored twice already, goes through the defence. That's his third goal in the UEFA Champions League. A rather simple one at that, Peter. Well, as Anoko plays his ball through to Yuran, he gets a bad touch to begin with. He turns around and plays a little deception here, like he's going to play the 1-2 with Simbalar, and he just plays his ball to the near post. The goalkeeper has no chance of getting to it. It's all Spartak Moscow at this stage. 19 minutes in, they increase their lead. Rosenberg failing to get the ball clear. And in the end, it falls nicely to Zimbala, who plays it back in. And Zimbala is the player in the end who is able to drive this one in. Comes off the underside of the crossbar, and that's goal number three coming after 19 minutes. Well, this ball's batted around. They keep possession, and Euron finally lays it off to Zimbalar. He really doesn't drive this too hard, but it's a bit of deception as the goalkeeper's off his line. The ball hits off the crossbar and just carries down into the goal. Rosenberg finding themselves three goals down inside 20 minutes. Full marks, though, to the Norwegian side. They stuck to their task. They went looking to try to pull one back. This time, the ball is played through, and eventually, it's a Spartak Moscow goalkeeper who comes to the rescue. Iverson is the player with the shot. Churchisev there, reacting well to keep it out. Iverson does well here. He takes responsibility upon himself, hits the long-range shot, but it's a tremendous save by Churchisev as he just parries the ball to the left-hand side. At half-time, then in Moscow, it's spot at Moscow 3, Rosenberg of Norway, nil. Again, the coach of Rosenberg, one wonders what he might have said to his players at half-time, but straight after the break, it was Spartak Moscow who were on the attack. They were given this free kick for the trip just on the edge of the penalty area. Romantsev there, the coach watching on as this free kick is taken. And it falls so nicely there for Tikhonov, Peter. Oh, Tikhonov, he's just standing there. Yuran hits a hard in-step drive. It comes off the defender. Actually, it probably was a handball, but he's standing at the right place at the right time. Just takes it off his chest and pushes it into the side of the net. Koki has no chance because he's coming off of trying to make the first save. Yes, the goalkeeper had committed himself, and that made it 4-0. Rosenberg, though, stuck to their task, and in the final minute, they were rewarded with a consolation goal. It's a long ball played through there by Iverson. Churchisev there saves the first one, but Lokin is the player who's following up. He really drives that one, Pete. Well, this is a great ball through. Goalkeeper comes up with a great save, but Lokin just comes in and says, I'm going to put my stamp on this, and just kills it into the back of the net.